Okay, what you're looking at here is an outside oil drain for uh, the, the, these shovel heads. And the reason that the that people like to do this is because when you uh, machine the cylinder head for big bore pistons, there's a very small amount of gasket surface here to seal these oil returns. And what happens is nine out of ten of them end up sucking oil into the combustion chamber. So the, uh, the, the passageways have to be rerouted and what they do is they take this head and they put a plug in the drain hole up here in the top and um, we drill and tap and uh, machine a surface here so that we can put a fitting in it and I'm going to run you through that real quick because it's fairly simple we've got all the tools laid out here and I can show you exactly how it's done first we take the cylinder head and we clamp it to the table making sure that it's sitting on there flat Okay, now that we've got the thing clamped down good, we take, we take this fixture that we've made and uh, we put the fixture on the cylinder head, line it up, square it up, make sure it's perfectly centered, and we attach it to the head just for a, a, uh, a few minutes here just to guide our drill. This is called a drill guide, and what we do with this thing is we take the you know, you can take the short punch or you can take a long punch here. Sometimes it's better to use the long one. You take the punch, you put it up here between the fins, all the way up into the casting. You, of course, line, line it up with this, with this guide to make sure it's straight. You hit it with a hammer and you punch a little spot in it. After you do that, of course, the fitting is not in here. Imagine this fitting not being in here. The next thing we do after we got the punch mark is we put the drill up to the punch mark and we start drilling. And we drill all the way through the casting into the valley where the valve spring sits. Go. After we've drilled this hole now, we can uh, remove the drill guide so that we can finish the job with the, the other tools here. Okay, the next thing we do is we put this in the drill motor and we run this guy in there until it makes a nice round flat surface on the casting. And uh, when that's completed, then we have a then we have a a nice round flat surface for this little guy to slide right up into and uh, this is the guide for our our drill that we're going to use to tap the hole okay after I turn the light on all right now we're ready to go again after we drill this uh, drill this hole into the oil galley we are ready to run the tap in there we have another fixture that we slip in here and we run the tap. Once the tap go, comes up here, you can see how the how the it, it fits on the fixture. And uh, it just as it starts, it's nice and tight there. And we use a little snap-on or arrangement like this with a ratchet head to run our tap in there. We use some special oil for lubrication to be sure that the threads are are nice and clean. And uh, you know we use the air hose to blow the thing out as we're doing the job and uh, you get a nice clean thread in there and once you get the thread in there then you go ahead and install a fitting and in this case this is one of these aircraft type that uh, has a steel braided line coming out of it it's kind of a nice uh, appearing uh, fitting and um, that's all there is to it then you run these guys down into your into your case is what most people do However, there is a, a, some of these uh, some of these oil pumps and cases will actually vacuum this oil out of here, and you can vacuum the oil right back into the uh, into the oil pump. So there's a variety of ways to do that. But uh, I'm gonna answer this phone now, and uh, you guys can think about it. Love it, Amex.